Alright, welcome back to Brigadine Legend of Renercia and the Darkness and Light Challenge Run with Manus Lisi at Theocracy. I went ahead and just did the 15, the level 15 fights because, um, yeah, they were quick and easy and I didn't lose anything because they were too quick and easy. But now we're on the 30s. <laughs> uh, also, I switched, uh, the ones we're about to do are the, the blue and green ones. So I switched uh, Emma to Assassin so that she doesn't have an elemental weakness. I don't know how much it would have really come in, because, you know, like, uh, whatever. But yeah, so now she has higher evasion, but uh, a little bit lower health, and she's black elemental instead of blue elemental, so primarily anyway. Um, yeah, so queued them all up, ready to go, and here we go. Yep. Blue and green elemental stuff. So, that and also, you know, she hadn't really procced her defense skill at all. So, uh, ah, this is one of those. I kind of have Veda set up as more of a support team instead of like a standalone team. So, this might be dangerous. <laughs> all right. Okay, so we've got a bunch of golems and a healer facing Ooh. off against Veda. That's good. That's I think that's really good, actually. Because um, I don't think golems are going to be able to hit, like, even our demons. Because, like, we have 99 agility. Okay, might be able to hit the nightmare. Um, 101 agility. 112 agility. 83 agility. Versus 35. 35. Yeah, yeah, this should not be a problem at all. Okay. In that case, run, 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 run. And go ahead and do so stance. So they are never going to hit him. Cool. Um, and put the demons right behind him. So I'm actually probably going to have to, like, actually... I slightly went further than I needed, or than I should have. Uh, whatever. Anyway, uh, yeah. So I I don't think I'm gonna have much problem over here. Um, likewise here, I don't think uh, the troubadour might be a little bit of a problem, but Let's see how far. Okay, they can all they can all move to the same like row. Do that. Do that. That would have been bad. <laughs> that would have been pretty bad. Uh, just ending the ending the turn with nobody else in position. Yeah. All right. Glad I didn't do that. All right. Yeah, I I don't anticipate having much of a problem there. And then Rudo, run, 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 run. run. Ooh, actually, if Emma... So... I really don't like how the battlefields are, like, stretched north and south, but they're, like, smaller, you know, east and west. Like, there's less hexes east and west than there are north and south. So Rudo actually might be far enough away that they go after Emma's squad instead, which would actually be pretty bad. The, the team closest to him, you know. Really? They they cast Geno Thunder on two people. Okay. Nice. It's pretty good. Yeah, they're never gonna hit her. I don't think the golems are ever gonna hit anyone on any of my teams. I hope the level thirty isn't like. <laughs> I hope the level thirty fights aren't like as easy as the 15s, because... Yeah, I... I mean... At least if nobody dies, I'll know for the future. Leveling them to level 30 is absolutely unnecessary. <laughs> this is kind of ridiculous, not gonna lie. They can do nothing. All right, cool. They're not going after Emma's team. That's good. 
<laughs> oh no, 32 damage, 16 damage. Okay. Maybe it's the fact that they're all mana miracles and level 30. Oops. Oops. Alright. I mean... Yes. I probably could have positioned that to hit the other... The other centaur as well. But I'm absolutely going to do this. Yeah, I absolutely could have. I could have... I could have Meteor Doom to hit everyone. Whatever, it's fine. Um, so yeah. Veda did take a lot of damage from that, but it's fine. We'll just heal him. And it's not like they can hit him anyway, so... Alright. Um, skill. Idle Flash. Does not kill, but has a 25% crit chance. Nope. Unfortunate. Okay, well, totally just gonna do this, do this, oh, actually, this might actually kill her. No, it did not. Got pretty close, though. Um, I mean, yeah. No, not him. Ah. Whoops. I meant to hit Pegasus so that it didn't, you know, heal. Ah, whatever. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything is completely fine. I mean, if I can just kill 87%, actually not great. Um Yeah, no, I think I do I think I do just fight like front to back. Okay. Yeah. Not enough. Unless... That'll make it enough. Okay. Again, I'm not worried at all about the golems. I don't think they're ever going to be able to hit anything. Kills the centaur. <clears throat> and... How much does her, um, Fatal Darkness do? Not actually that much. Hmm. I mean, it has no chance to hit me, so... Fine. Whatever. Okay, no crit. It's fine. Um... Oh, I could actually... I could actually move over here. And then get him down to a hundred, and then finish him off. Actually, if this crits, it kills. Did not crit. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right, Rudo. Magic! Fine Ray! Okay. Can the other angel kill now? Yep. Beautiful. Alright. Rudo! Paralyzing anomaly, huh? I think I'd rather kill the dragon than the Archangel, because the Archangel is going to probably use uh, Holy Word, which will just be a bunch of splash damage, whereas the Dragon can either breath for more precise damage or just attack, and if he hits, do tons of damage that way. Sure. Cool. And then Dragon, smack, and go. Nice. Nice. Um, that one's already gone, so Pegasus and Pegasus. Sure. Alright. Fine. Yeah. 
thing. I really don't care. Oh wow, actually hit. I am surprised it. There's no way. They have a they have an accuracy penalty with the rock throw. There is there is no way they're gonna hit our frontliners. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. But it's not gonna save you. It's not gonna save you. Maybe once we get to like the higher agility enemies, but just there's so many golems here, and golems are notorious for never being able to land a hit. Yeah, so we have um the adamantine whatever accessory on all three of them, on all three of our rune knights, so they all take 30% reduced damage from spells. Okay. I see. That's actually mildly problematic, but I think we can still just step over and kill the troubadour. Because we have both our Simurg and Emma who are able to do that. Out of curiosity. That's a crit. Down to 16. And... That's a kill. Alright. There's that team gone. Nope. Alright, so probably gonna have already won by the time this team actually gets in there. Eighty-seven percent. Nice. Also a silence. Actually hold on, I can use witching step. Hundred percent kill. Nice. Actually, I should have healed her first. Whatever, it's fine. I should have healed her first, though. Just do that real quick. Ah, right, rune area, that's a thing. Rune area is totally a thing. in there. Smack him. Oh, still not killed, really. Okay. There we go. Now it's a kill. And then protect the Seraph a little bit. Cool. Rudo's team. I mean... I don't really like that he's surrounded or he has the paralyzing thing to the side. Okay. Does this kill? No. How about this one? No. Very well then. Yes. Beautiful. Alright. I mean... I'm not super worried about any of this. Uh, I mean, I would love to be able to heal Emma, but mm, it's fine. 
It's fine. All right. Uh oh. Ooh, that's close. Oh god, dragon. The dragon. No. That was so close. I wonder if I if I lose a rune knight and she leaves monsters behind, do I just lose them? Or if I win the battle, does it do what it normally does and just let me keep them? Last but not least, the ultimate disrespect. Oh. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. He did not appreciate my attempt to disrespect him. That's fine. Alright. Yeah, can you do it again though? I didn't think so. Man, 93. She got so close to getting wrecked there. <laughs> yeah, so I need to be more careful in the future, because these level 30s can actually, especially the Rune Knights, they can actually do some serious damage. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do two. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, I'm gonna try to do two, and then I'm gonna try to save the other two. I think this is the one that's like mostly green or whatever. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save the other two for next week on Saturday. And then on, bu, 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 bu. yeah, next Saturday I'll finish the other two of the level 30 ones. And then that Sunday I'll do the Zoar Beast and Death Valley. So. Let's get into the next one, which is going to be, like I said, a lot more dangerous because they actually have enough agility to, you know, stop us. Um, also, we do have to be worried about if the night or man eaters or whatever hit, that will be that will be very dangerous because if if one of our units get paralyzed, then everyone who swings at them after hits, guaranteed. Um, and because the map is so much taller than it is wide, I think we need to drop Beta at A so that we can get there faster, because I think his is the fastest team. Yo. We could also just like wait around for everyone else to before we start moving everyone else, but yeah, no, it's fine. Okay. Beta. Move, 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 move. Into a forest. And... I'll do Swift Stance next round. Do I wait around? Do Do I actually wait to move anyone else closer until after Veda gets the attention of one of them? That is slightly risky in the sense that... Um, yeah, if they if multiple of them go after Veda, never mind. They're they're just engaging straight away. Yeah, never mind. That is not an option. Ooh, they actually hit. Yeah, that's what I was saying. These guys are gonna have higher agility. Oof. But it's fine. Everything's fine. Oh wow, she's dark elf. Yeah, we dropped Rudo on the correct side. That Rudo is going to bonk her so hard. Okay. Like I said, I think we're going to play it slow and we're just going to go front to back on these. Sure. Doesn't really matter, I don't think. Um, doesn't quite kill. Also, 74. I was not expecting our hit chance to actually... Wow. Wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to... We're gonna actually have a little bit of trouble here. It's like, if we can't hit, 
It doesn't even kill. Um, that's problematic. And we have a 35% crit chance there. Hmm, how do we do this? I think... Okay, I have an idea. What's the Nightmare's hit chance? 65%. 65% to knock him out of the forest. Unfortunate. Okay, so... Yeah. I think... Nope, not retreat. Uh, oh, so they're out of range of her skill. I mean, if she crits... Nice, okay. That helps, that helps. Um, Mine as well. Nice, we actually hit. That's good. That's very good. Um, this will enclose him, so now we're guaranteed to hit. Beautiful. Alright. So that's the trick, we just have to enclose them. Alright. Alright. What is my hit chance here? Queen military rule, 57%. And that's why we have Pegasuses. Alright. Clean military rule, right there. Beautiful. Although she also does an insane amount of damage back. Oh boy. That I was not expecting. 36%. Are you serious? Um. I. Hmm. What does Holy Word do to her? 113. I'd still need 80. I would still need 80. Um. Okay. For the record, this is incredibly dangerous. Incredibly dangerous. But I think if I can encapsulate her. I think this works. Holy word. Boop. Okay, just down to 80. This should be 100% chance because of the encapsulation. 99%. Okay, I would have been a little bit salty if that had actually missed. Not gonna lie. Oh, but it didn't, so all good. Now we do have a Pegasus in front. And the Swordsman is still left to come after us if he so chooses. But honestly, with as accurate as they all are, i kind of rather the Swordsman go for Rudo than... Uh-oh, that's worst case scenario. That is absolute worst case scenario. All of them going for Emma. Oh, uh, boy. Okay. Veda, you, you need to go. You need to go super fast. You need to get over there. So stance, beautiful. Okay. What's the point of giving me the option to move there if I can't move? That's dumb. Okay. Nightmare. Run, 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 run. Nightmare. Run, 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 run. Uh, Lilith there. Other Lilith there. And way in the back is our frontliner. Or our potential frontliner. This is so bad. This is so bad. <laughs> okay, AoE... Shoot. That's a lot of damage. I was gonna say AoE should be better than a direct shot, but... Oh boy. Okay, definitely, definitely healing Emma. 100% healing Emma. Alright. Now. Now what? Now what? 
I mean, Holy Word does some damage, but unless it's gonna kill, I don't see a reason to. Um. Okay. What is my hit chance here? 70. 70%. 70 That's not good enough. Nice crit. Heal for 67. Deal 67. Okay. So we basically took no damage. Alright. Also take no damage there. Fifty-fifty, huh? That's unfortunate. Um, that's sixty-one damage. Oh boy. Okay. But if I go here, I am encapsulating him, so that's a guaranteed two seventy-nine. I just realized. I just realized how low our, yeah, how low our lich was right there. Not ideal. Wait. Yeah. I should have done that before I moved anyone away. That's a good spell to have. I mean, I could do that, or... I could do that. Yeah. The dragon is going to be less likely to be able to just hit naturally. 79. Okay, yeah. We're gonna hit the uh, Pegasus then. Okay. Gerudo, uh, get a move on, please. Uh, yeah, definitely just gonna hang back with that. I think it's gonna be over before Rudo gets in there at all. I think. But he did already take down probably the most dangerous one, so at least there's that. Oh yeah, there's- yeah, yeah, that's fine. It's fine. Our Lich is heal. This is gonna hurt, though. Guaranteed hit. Okay, only 191, and we get to- never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say we get to, uh, lifesteal some back up, but, uh... Ooh, are we gonna lose a Lich here? Are we going to lose a Lich? Maybe not. Hi. Veda can get in here. Hi. I have to try. Nice. Crit kill. Alright. I... Okay, there is only, only person here that actually, I shouldn't have actually gone all the way in. I could have stood one further back and still hit both of them. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. But yeah, she's, the archer is the only one who gets to act next round. Because, uh, yeah, everyone else is team A. Except for the Pegasus, but I'm not worried about the Pegasus, so. <sighs> it's whatever. Um... He only does 41 with a 63% chance, so, yeah, it's worth the risk. Okay. Pegasus and Archer, what is the Pegasus going to do? Heal. What is the Archer going to do? Move and shoot. Alright. I think we just win now. I think we just win now. Um... I want to get a kill with him to heal him, because there's no other way for me to heal him right now. This is going to be a terrible hit chance, indeed, 54%. That, on the other hand, is not. But, I, don't, I really don't have any follow-up. Like, at all. Wait, wait, are we in heat? Are we in range? We are in range. Okay. Pop a heal. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. And there's no chance here, right? Yeah, no, 0%. Actual 0%. Amazing. 
But if I fly back here, yeah. that's worth doing, I think. Nice charm. All right. So if I now go here, I do indeed. 100% hit chance. Oof. All right. But, 40% crit chance. But I can hit and move, so... Ow. E. Yeah, that hurt. Alright. Dragon. Okay. Ow. Yeah. Yep. It's fine. Oh no. It's not fine. Oh, that's so unfortunate. That is so unfortunate. Wait, wait, wait. Actually, hold on. Nope, out of range. Can't do it. Unless this crits. Okay, that's a 15% for a crit kill. That's a 15% also for a crit kill. Let's go. Yes, we got it. Okay. All right. That. That was stressful. All right. Uh, yeah, sure. Get a little bit of a heal. Help free up uh, an area. Yeah, we're never gonna get there in time. It's entirely up to Veda to prevent them from taking another turn. But even if they do, it's just the it's just the Archer Phantom. So I think we're fine, regardless. Like I think we're golden. I think. Magic. I mean, yeah. Evade that. Um, yep. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Okay. We'll win. We'll kill before she gets a chance to shoot us again. So... Right? Yeah. She's dead. 100% she's dead. Alright. And for the kill. For the kill. Pew! Alright. That was actually very, very close. <laughs> We, we almost lost some stuff there, but it's okay. It's okay. Um, wow, that's only been 30 minutes. Yeah, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it for the day. Yeah, whatever, yeah, whatever. Ah, that's a freedom mantle. Ooh, wow. Oh, heck yes. I also got Viking mail, but... Whatever. Um, Freedom Mantle. Okay. So, yeah, we're gonna go... Freedom Mantle. Which gives him plus 10% crit rate and plus 10% crit damage. So his crits are gonna be insane. And then that frees up for Emma. Instead of the Champion Mantle that gives 5% evasion... We can give her the Ancient Breastplate for... Oh, we actually already have... Oh, no, that's right. I took it off because we were doing... Um, we were fighting against the green. So blue would have caused her to take extra damage. But yeah, so that's an extra 5%. Um, yeah, actually, we're going to... We're going to switch her back to Royal Guard. Because this is an incredibly white and spell-heavy uh, group.
I mean, shield block rate, hit points and defense, or hit points, defense, attack, and inorganic body. Uh, I think inorganic body is better. And then Justice Helm? Yeah. I mean, Flash Helm is cool for evasion, but... Yeah, no, I think, uh, I think the healing is better than the evasion. Ooh, actually, we can get damage reduction against them as well as... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Adamantine Metal. Yeah, okay. There we go. So we have white elements on everyone, so they should take reduced damage from the white elemental spells and attacks, because this is literally like all white elements and stuff. Except that, that's fire, which... We'll have to be careful with Veda to not, you know, get hit by the Phoenix, but other than that... Yeah, no, we're, we're All right, so yeah, that has been bringing Legend of Rares here for the day. I hope you enjoyed it, and until next week, have a good one.